So I spent $15,000 for a marketing sales operational coaching program. And I'm sitting down with the mentor of the program or one of the the side people. And he's like, hey, tell me about your business. What do you do? That kind of thing. He's like, oh my God, that's fantastic. You trade dogs. And then he says, what do you charge for that? And I said, well, charge about you know $800 to $1,000 depending on the package. And he said, okay, okay, okay. So we started looking at the numbers and we're breaking it down. And what the the learning was about was, hey, you got to get on other people's stages. You got to do uh, podcasts. You got to do interviews. You got to do these other things. And I said, well, I can't do that. I spend all my time doing sales presentations and talking with people and trying to market my business so I have enough money to, to grow the business, to keep doing the things. And he said, why are you only charging 1000 Like, is that normal? I was like, well, there's some people who charge like $10,000 or $5,000, but you know, I, I don't think I have the skill set yet to charge $1,000. And he said, double it. <laughs> and he made me laugh because he just goes, double it, see what happens. So I said, okay. So I made two offers. And one was $1,000, one was $2,500. And I started showing it to people. And I just I had to build up the $25,000, and I added more things to it, and I, I put up more um, you know, resources and all this kind of stuff into the $2,500 one. And more people bought this one, the $2,500 one, than the $1,000 one. And so I go back to the guy, and I said, hey, that was fantastic advice. Like Now I have some free time because I'm not working so many clients but I have the money that I was getting before. And he was like, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're trying to do. So today we're going to kind of break down the math here of why you should be charging more, if not double your price and operate your business. All right, so let's jump into it. So if you missed yesterday's video, go watch that one, then come back. It's the same kind of breakdown here of Facebook ads, YouTube, uh, and your email list. But more importantly, what we're going to discuss is that uh, kind of breakdown of the math here. So what I want to draw your attention to is down here at the bottom, we have our right here, we have 10, 5, and 25, the number of people who end up signing up to work with you. Okay, so from our, in case you missed it yesterday, from our traffic sources, our Facebook ads, our YouTube channel, which is earned traffic, right, we're working to grow an audience, and then our email, we get 100 people, 50 people, and 500 people per month to land on each one of these pages, respectively. And these pages sell an $1,000 offer. Now, if we keep everything the same, right, we have 10%, 10%, actually, let's add this to 10% just to make it fair. And we run this through, you end up getting, oh, why didn't this connect? There we go. You end up getting 65 clients per month. This is what the problem was for me. I had too many clients and I was doing too much. He was like, you can't keep that up. And you you don't have the time to do these other things. I wanted to film more courses. I wanted to write a book. Like, I just, I didn't have the time to do these things. So he said, double the prices, see what happens. And so let's have these, or I'm sorry, we're going to double the price. And we're going to actually do what I did. So I went from 1000 to 2500 Save. Close. And right down here, you see it was 62596 62596 for the uh, 65 clients that we're getting. Now, if everything stays the same and all you did was double your prices, you do not just double the uh, – I'm sorry – you do not just double the amount of money that you bring in, right? You, you do a little bit more, which is interesting, especially if you're, you're slightly doubling the price there. So what ends up happening here? We have the same number of clients. We have a little bit more than double the amount of money, which means we can either slow down on the traffic, right? Let's say we don't pay as much for ads. We say, you know what? I'm just going to slow down the ads. I know they work really well, so I'm going to have them. And maybe we just completely stop posting on social media, right? You're like, I need to go focus on other things. I'm not going to post on social media. I'm going to take a hiatus. That's fine. Let's see what that does to impact our overall profit. Okay, so you didn't make the extra $20,000, but you only have 55 clients instead of 65. So you got rid of 10. Now, let's say you do this from the beginning. 
so your pages might not convert as well. And we're going to say they only convert at 2.5. And this is more common when you're starting out, especially if you're doing this by yourself. You don't have someone like me to build out your funnel for you, to do the, the copy, the offer stacking, all that kind of stuff. If you don't have someone to do that for you and you're just trial and erroring, then yeah, of course, uh, it's not going to be as optimized. So let's say it's 2.5 across the board. And we have 50 visitors from YouTube. We got 50 visitors from our Facebook ads because we reduced as much as we're paying. And our email is going to stay the same. And we send that through. You're still going to make $33,000. And you only have 14 clients. Which would you rather have workload-wise? 14 clients or 50 clients? Yeah, did you make as much? No, <laughs> you didn't, right? So you could then ramp amp back up the Facebook ads. Let's go back to the original Facebook ads, which was 100. We go back to that. And I mean, we we shattered um, the, the conversion rates of these sales pages, right? This is not what you would want to stay at. But if you're trying to make ends meet, you're trying to you know, move things along in your business and have some money and start to do things, if you have the other option of price, right you didn't you don't raise it to 2500 you only have it at a thousand watch this watch right 35 908 everything's the same 100 people from ads 50 people from youtube 500 people on your email list uh or a thousand people on your email list 500 people opt-in no yeah 500 people on your email list my apologies and your pages are converting at an absolute garbage conversion rate right you're trying to do this all on your own and you do this for a month, you make fourteen thousand sixty-four dollars. You you can make some people's entire year's salary just by doubling your price. That's it, and it gives you way more time. And you might have fourteen or sixteen clients as opposed to the fifty clients that you would have. If you're, you're just trying to put all of your energy in more people, more people, more people, more people, more people. So it's not always about adding more people to your business. Sometimes it's about just increasing your prices. That's what I did for my business. It made things 10 times easier. I was not so worried about, oh my God, I got to get more people, more people, more people, more people. You can also just extend the amount of training that you're doing and increase the price that way. There's multiple ways to increase price. If you want me to help you break this down for your business and create your offer and how we can make it packed with value so much that people are like, that's a no-brainer. I got to do it. Here's my card. Uh, then check down in the description. I'll put a link to work with me at caninebusinessbuilders.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you check out tomorrow's video. And if you haven't, go watch the rest of the playlist and learn how to market and grow your dog training business. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.